winter, day or night Between the pages of a book sounds just right Reading's fundamental, a cool thing to do Many different worlds will open to you Come into our nook and grab a book And go where reading takes you To reading with Stacy, where reading is fundamental and fun for the mental. I have a very exciting and classic story I want to read to you today. And we're going to learn an important lesson about why you shouldn't be lazy and why you should work hard. It could, after all, save you from getting eaten by a big bad wolf. Before we read the story of the three little pigs, we're gonna go over a vocabulary word and that word is appetite. To have an appetite means to have a strong desire for something like food. Are you ready? Let's get started. Once upon a time there was an old mother pig who had three little pigs and not enough food to feed them. So when they were old enough, she sent them out into the world to seek their fortunes. The first little pig was very lazy. He didn't want to work at all and he built his house out of straw. The second little pig worked a little bit harder, but he was somewhat lazy too and he built his house out of sticks. Then they sang and danced and played together the rest of the day. The third little pig worked hard all day and built his house with bricks. It was a sturdy house complete with a fine fireplace and chimney. It looked like it could withstand the strongest winds. The next day, a wolf happened to pass by the lane where the three little pigs lived and he saw the straw house and he smelled the little pig inside. He thought the pig would make a mighty fine meal and his mouth began to water. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's big paws through the keyhole. So he answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then the wolf showed his teeth and said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf opened his jaws very wide and bit down as hard as he could. But the first little pig escaped and ran away to hide with the second little pig. The wolf continued down the lane and he passed by the second house made of sticks. And he saw the house and he smelled the little pigs inside and his mouth began to water as he thought about the fine dinner they would make. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, let me in. But the little pigs saw the wolf's pointy ears through the keyhole. So they answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs on her chinny chin chin. So the wolf showed his teeth and said, Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house down. The wolf was greedy, and he tried to catch the pigs at once. But he was too greedy, and got neither. His big jaws clamped down on nothing but air and the two little pigs scrambled away as fast as their little hooves would carry them. The wolf chased them down the lane and he almost caught them. But they made it to the brick house and slammed the door closed before the wolf could catch them. 
The three little pigs were very frightened. They knew the wolf wanted to eat them. And that was very, very true. The wolf hadn't eaten all day and he had worked up a large appetite chasing the pigs around. And now he could smell all three of them inside. And he knew that the three little pigs would make a lovely feast. So the wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, let me in. But the little pigs saw the wolf's narrow eyes through the keyhole. So they answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. So the wolf showed his teeth and said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Well, he huffed and he puffed. He puffed and he huffed. And he huffed and huffed and he puffed and puffed. But he could not blow the house down. At last he was so out of breath that he couldn't huff and he couldn't puff anymore. So he stopped to rest and thought a bit. But this was too much. The wolf danced around with rage and swore he would climb down the chimney and eat up the little pigs for his supper. But while he was climbing on the roof, the little pigs made up a blazing fire and put on a big pot full of water to boil. Then, just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little piggies pulled off the lid and plop! In fell the wolf into the hot, hot water. He jumped out of the pot, ran out of the house and down the lane. He had never met such smart little pigs and he vowed to never bother them again. The end. What a great story. And I bet you from now on those first two piggies won't be so lazy anymore and will build them a house of bricks. Thank you all so much for joining me. Please hit the subscribe button to tune in for future stories and poems I want to share with you. And remember, when you're looking for adventure and something fun to do, just open a book and go where reading takes you. Bye!